I'm like, no, actually, I'm like very conscious about what I eat, and I, I have a, I have a good, clean diet. I'm, I'm a really solid, 200 plus pound chick who's got like big biceps and shoulders, and that's to me, that's hot. I was tortured in middle school. I hated it because <laughs> I was a heavy, heavy set girl. But what happened was I discovered that my body wasn't, there wasn't anything wrong with it necessarily, you know, and that I could be strong and feminine. I'm not big because of my sport. It's a tool to be used in my sport, and I'm perfect for it. Did man. you get a medal in this last national games mm -hmm. one you just did? But then why did you say you didn't do well? I mean, I can win the national championships, but if I don't make any improvement and go overseas and get my ass beat, you know? So I can't be satisfied with what I do here. This is not good enough. Let me let me see some let me see some stripes. There we go. Oh, I gotta get the high heels too. Hold on. Yeah, yeah the works. high heels make the outfit. Okay. You could say that Cheryl's a rough, tough cream puff. She's just carefree and easily led astray. And I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm very focused when I have something important I have to do. Well, you don't take anything seriously. I've been to the Olympics twice and I graduated from college. What, what do you want from me? I'm moving to Colorado to the Olympic Training Center. Where I'll be able to train with my teammates and train hard for Beijing. I just want to blow people away. And I know I can. The Olympic Training Center is the place to be if you want to showcase your abilities and, um, well, you know, maximize your talent. Here in Colorado Springs, the training regimen is much more stringent. Back in Savannah, I worked out half as much as I do here. So it's much more intense. I'm in the gym many more times a week. On that guy. Weightlifting is not simply about heaving weight over your head. It's much more about timing and flexibility and speed and really understanding how your, your body works in relation to momentum and inertia and gravity. We're moving pretty quickly. We're jumping. You want speed. You want explosive movements quick bursts of energy. It should be snappy, powerful, and fluid. The weight should be a part of your body, and if you move it like that, then you don't feel the weight.
as soon as I put my hands on that bar, it's, it's almost like if I had to like color the moment, it would definitely be like a really intense blue exploding through my body right into that middle where you're standing and the bar just goes right up so that it feels like it's weightless. This, my friends, is Mary Todd Lincoln. 1979, Lincoln Continental Mark V. It weighs about two tons. I have to fill it up with gas every, every time I see a gas station. She's old, so she doesn't start up immediately, you know? So I gotta keep pushing the gas for a while. She's always telling me stuff that Mary Todd does. Like, for example, <laughs> the other day, there was some construction, and it was really a really <laughs> narrow path. I forgot about this. And so she told me that Mary Todd had to hold her breath real tight to get through that narrow path. <laughs> Right now, we're all training for the World Championships coming up in Chiang Mai, Thailand. The next step headed into the Olympics in Beijing. Come on, stop, Krista! Come on, Kara! I, I should be training but I'm injured. I have this pain in my leg. It's really stabbing. Something was hurting every couple workouts. I can't even put weight over my head right now. weightlifting especially, because it's so high impact, it's very important that rest time balances that intensity and that training. Oh, God, that hurts. <laughs> if I was doing too much training. I did an MRI of my knee, my thigh, my hip, my back. I have a torn meniscus in my knee, a torn labrum in my hip, and this torn ligament in my back. When you're injured, you go down to the gym and, and you're witnessing all this progress made by everyone else. You feel like you're being left behind. And you begin to wonder where, where it is you fit in. Career pants. You get a nice pair of slacks. And a um, I don't think those fit. I think those are 24s. They're too small, too big. Big old 28. That's as big as they go in the big girl's store. <laughs> Woo! big girl. It's okay. I find solace in the fact that I could probably kick anybody's ass in here. <laughs> what? You want to say something about my 28? Mm. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this without my mom. I hate shopping, too. <gasps> Fun! That looks really nice. And here, you should try on this one since you did like it. You liked it. Try it on. I liked it. If you were wearing no, it. No, I thought you liked it for you. Try it on. You, it caught your eye. Try it on. I don't remember what my name is. What your what? Nothing. You don't remember what your name is? OK, so okay. what am I going to try on now? Fun, how's it coming? 
<laughs> worn anything quite like it in my life. Oh, I bet you look good in it, though. No. Oh, it's cute though. That one's much better. Like, because it's different? No, because it fits you better. It looks more like. If you have good cleavage, it's good. I wanted to ask you about um, romance in your life. Oh, romance, non existent. Maybe after weightlifting's all over, I'll have the opportunity for those sorts of things, you know. I don't wake up and put a bunch of makeup on my face. I don't spend a long time figuring out what I'm gonna wear. I don't think it's important. However misplaced it might be, I feel like I'm a good person. I have achievement. I have personality. I'm a good person to talk to. But people like you if you're smaller. It ties in with being more or less unhappy in my body. It's not how I want to be physically, but it's very good for what I do. So you begin to, to hate what you do because it's, it's keeping you trapped somewhere. Maybe if you're a man, it's not, you know, some of these guys at the training center, these, these super heavyweight guys are just like constantly trying to get bigger and bigger, and it's okay. <laughs> Wait, and then what your weight class is, Jackie's like, I'm 58. <laughs> all the men are always trying to get big and strong, but all the women, they're always trying to get smaller. You know, you want to be as strong as you can, but you want to be little too. And there's no such thing in this culture as being big and strong and completely and totally accepted as a woman. No matter how much you can kick everybody's ass. Could you imagine being huge, but graceful and beautiful and just gorgeous? It just took a long time to figure out what the problem was. We finally figured out what it is, but now I have this, this much time to train and, and get strong. Our livelihood of four years of work in this quadrennium comes down the next week in Chiang Mai, Thailand. At the World Championships, however you place in your individual weight class, you earn points for your team. Everybody has to accumulate team points and our performance it will directly affect how many, how many athletes we'll have on the Olympic team. All, only thing that matters is those Olympic slots. Cheryl is injured right now, but she is one of the greatest competitors of all time, of all sports. Cheryl at 80% is still better than everybody else at 100%. And we'll get her in the top six and she'll get those points. They're like air to breathe for us, and we need Cheryl. 